on a tour up to the Daintree Forest and we have just stopped off at the Mossman Gorge absolutely beautiful look at this rainforest really really stunning there's a river down that way that some people are swimming in but it's a bit too chilly for me so I'm just having a wander around the rainforest uh, this is traditional Aboriginal paintings and it means I'm allowed four husbands so lucky me uh, firstly what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put everyone through a smoking ceremony with that smoking ceremony we use paper bark Paper bar comes from a tree called Malaluka. The Malaluka tree is not found here in the rainforest, so where you'll actually find it is located down on the coast in the nice sandy swampy area. Okay? So the smoke that comes off this paper bar is just gonna put a protection barrier around you. Okay? Daintree Rainforest, which is the oldest rainforest in the world. It's older than the Amazon, it's older than any other South American rainforests. Yep, the oldest one in the world, and it is absolutely beautiful. A lot of it is like very close to the ocean, so there's a lot of mangroves and stuff, so it's, it's parts of it are like mangrove forest. Um, yeah, the rest of it is just one big jungle that gets a lot of rain. Um, the place that I'm staying at now is called Crocodilus. It's set in the middle of this phenomenal rainforest. And um, so it was just a bit of a detour. Last year when I traveled, you know, traveling on the South African Rand is really difficult. It doesn't really get you that far. So you have to think of alternative ways to travel cheap. And I came across this website called Workaway where families who need help, you know, whether they are running a, a accommodation or whether they are renovating their houses, whether they need help looking after their kid, whatever, they need help, they put a profile up on Workaway and then you volunteer for them and you volunteer for 25 hours a week generally and you get free accommodation and food. So it's a really cheap way to travel but I think it's also a really great way to travel because you really get to chat with the locals and you get to know the locals and you get to know the area and oftentimes if you have some nice hosts they'll take you around and show you around so yeah that's really cool so that's what I'm doing here for a week I'm busy volunteering for Crocodilus <clears throat> I just finished my first shift which was working in the restaurant um, you know doing a bit of cooking well not really cooking just food prep doing some dishes doing a bit of serving taking me back to my waitressing days so yeah, that was great. And now <clears throat> there is a trail that leads out. Oh, just look how cool this is. Walking through all this vegetation. So yeah, there's a two kilometer trail right from the accommodation and I'm busy walking on now. It's just so peaceful out here. Listen to that noise. Just some birds. And that's all you can hear. It's absolutely magical in the middle of nowhere. So this part of the Daintree Rainforest, there's no power. Everybody here works with generators. There's no power lines. There's no reception. There's no very limited internet. Oh, my path is, not too sure where my path goes. I think we go this way. Um, yeah, so very remote area, very limited access. Really, really beautiful. Um, yeah, so this is where I'm spending the week and Hopefully in a couple of days I'm going to go to the Daintree Rainforest Visitor Center and show you a little bit of that. So yeah, welcome to Daintree Rainforest, the oldest rainforest in the world.
I forgot to mention that um, yesterday, uh, coming back from our tour, uh, before I got dropped off at my accommodation, I was fortunate enough to see a cassowary, which is a big ostrich-like bird that lives in this forest, but there's only about 1,000 of them left, so it's very rare to find them. Uh, a lot of the people here have been walking around for days and days trying to find them. So yeah, I was really lucky that I saw one yesterday. Very, very cool stuff. These blue fruits over here, those are the fruits that the cassowary eats. So if you spot them, maybe you'll spot a cassowary. Who knows? These are the little huts of crocodilus set in the rainforest. How do you see them? It's so well camouflaged. There's another one. We spent the night on Snapper Island, which is a small little island just off of the mainland uh, of Australia, kind of near the Daintree area. Super last minute plan. Um, Crocodilus, the accommodation that I'm volunteering for, they had this overnight kayak plan. They had an extra spot in their kayak and they thought, hey, it would be great to have a resident marine biologist join the trip and do some educational stuff with the guests. So yeah, uh, very last minute, I got told half an hour before they left that I was gonna be joining them on their overnight kayak. Um, but yeah, it was great. We kayaked for about two and a half hours to get here. There's absolutely nothing here. There's a little beach, um, which you can see over there. And in amongst the trees, there's a campsite, which is just a couple of tables and a couple of poles that's all that's here so yeah it's great uh, roughing it out getting back to my roots um, I did a lot of this kind of rough camping in my field work in the Seychelles so it reminds me a lot of that thankfully there aren't as many mosquitoes so that was all right um, yeah we had a really great night we went snorkeling a little bit yesterday which is very cool unfortunately the weather's looking a bit icky today hopefully we don't get rained on on our kayak back but yeah had a great night at Snapper Island a very cool experience Hello everybody, I finally made it to the Daintree Discovery Center which is really really awesome. There are a huge range of walks that go through the forest at the mid-level. I just did the canopy tour that goes right up to the top and you can see at the top of the forest. I'm now doing the walk along the bottom of the forest, the cassowary circuit. Maybe we'll see a cassowary, hope so, don't know. It's a bit rainy today but overall really really beautiful learning lots and lots about the forest, about all the different types of trees and birds and butterflies and everything that lives in here. So yeah, good place to 
start your time in the Dane Tree Forest and just orientate yourself with all the bits and bobs. Learn a little bit about the forest so you have a bit of knowledge as you go on through. So I walked all the trails in the Daintree Forest Discovery Centre, very very cool, some very informational stuff, you get like an audio guide and it really gives you a lot of information so that was cool. Then there's a little ice cream shop just up the road here that makes fresh ice cream using all ingredients from the forest, no sugar, no preservatives. I had the Daintree Forest flavour which had lemon myrtle, ginger, kale, spirulina, oh it was delicious, it was really really good if you're ever passing through this area try this lady's ice cream and now I'm at a place called Hutchinson's Creek which is a creek again just up the road from Crocodilus all easily accessible by bicycle because that's my mode of transport and I've stopped here for a tad bit of lunch and just look how beautiful it is And apparently you can swim here. I don't know why there's no crocodiles, maybe it's too shallow, but yeah, you can swim here, uh, particularly for a swim for me, but yeah, I'm gonna have some lunch and just chill out here in this beautiful, natural, peaceful place. My week in the Daintree rainforest has come to an end. I'm quite sad about it. It was really, really beautiful and I met some really cool volunteers. I feel like I made some awesome friends. We got along really well. So the social vibe was really cool. But yeah, unfortunately, all good things come to an end. So I have left the Daintree forest. My last night there was quite cool. It was a Saturday night. So we went down to the local pub and there was some live music, some folk music, which was really, really cool. <laughs> And now I'm in a tiny little town that's really in the middle of nowhere. I feel like it's even more in the middle of nowhere than the Daintree Rainforest. Um, it's called Lucinda, but it is my port of entry for my next stop. So tomorrow I'm heading to the Orpheus Island and there's a research station there that does like marine biology research and I'm volunteering there for two weeks and I have to catch the ferry from here. So I'm here for the night and then tomorrow off to the next adventure Orpheus Island. That again will be a new video so I'm wrapping up this video. I hope you enjoyed all the green from the rainforest, a bit of a change from the blue but yeah tomorrow we're back to the blue ocean. <laughs>